Hey guys, so uh, today I thought that I would give you a tour of my fabric store and maybe we could also fill some orders. I don't have that many. I only have like three right now, but I'll show you my process of, you know, pulling out the bolts of fabric, filling the orders, packaging them, and hopefully, you know, you can have an idea about what goes into my orders. If you decide to buy fabric from me, if you're sewers or quilters out there. Um, so for those of you that don't know, I'll just flip the camera. I've got a, um, sorry, you're not, not supposed to see that. I'll, I'll, I'll blot that out because that's orders from, um, a different store. So I'll, I'll blot that out. But right now, what you're looking at is, um, the, uh, storage room or rather my office where I hold, um, all my stock well pretty much all my stock I mean I have some stock that's like out in in the other room but for now uh, this is my my little at-home business my fabric store so I'll just give you a quick tour um, here's here's some like overstock that I didn't have room for on the shelves but like right here is where I keep all of the quilting cottons that are holiday themed. Uh, so you have Easter, you have Valentine's Day, some St. Patty's Day, of course, some Halloween, and of course, Christmas. Um, this big mess of fabric scraps over here are some of the fabric scraps, uh, the flannel scraps that I have going in my flannel surprise scrap packs. So if you see anything here that you want to get, uh, you could go to my Etsy store because that's where I have them. Uh, more so than my website and that's where I will be selling the flannel fabric scrap packs but that's like a mystery bag so you don't know what you're going to get and there are no no requests <laughs> but I have a lot of them so if you want to get some now's the time sorry for the shaky camera I'm kind of holding this in in my uh in my two hands and this is where I have some of the flannel fabrics that are overstock that I'm selling I have some solids I have some cute little flannel patterns here uh in here I have some I don't know if it's like vintage scraps or yeah so I think that this is my vintage scraps which is also a scrap pack that I have available I can't really get into it now because I need my hands but that's something that's also available on my Etsy store or some like vintage flannel uh fabric uh scraps and then here I have some that are character uh packs that you can buy also it's also available on my Etsy store so if you guys are quilters or, or sewists and you're looking for some character scrap packs I have those these are my outgoing orders that's a coroplast from a business that I used to have of like hand-sewn goods that I don't um, I don't do that anymore. I think here is a sweater that probably needs to be washed but underneath it um, if you guys are wondering what that is, it's an industrial kick press, um, which is like a, a manual kick press. And uh, I can get into that later. My Cricut, because I don't have any space for that. And some of the sample products for Clementine and Fiona's print on demand uh, store, which is there in the corner. But here's some more um, scraps. These are cotton scraps that are, are currently for, for sale also in my Etsy store in the uh, surprise packs. Um, what you see here are some pens. So I, I know that I mentioned in a previous video that I have my stick in a lot of different honey pots. I have a few Etsy stores. This one here, I don't know if you can see that if it's in, I don't know, I seem to be having trouble focusing that, but Anyway, I, th those are pens that we give in our in our store called Leather Stripper. Um, and in the Leather Stripper store, we sell, um, I'll, well, I'll put the link for you, but basically it's just leather strips, uh, which you can use as trimmings for your leatherworks projects and stuff. Um, so I'll put the link for you if you guys want to check it out. And any order that's over $100 will automatically get one of those pens. Um, so again, here back to the fabric, which is sort of my, my main, uh, my main project. This is a whole, whole thing of flannel. I also have, of course, some runoffs here. Uh, this is also flannels that I have in stock for sale right now. Uh, and then I kind of bleed over into this pile of flannels, which is all piled one on top of the other and some quilting cottons, 
plus whatever flannel pieces I have that are just like my remnants, my ends of bolts. So these are them. And then down here I have in this box some pieces of uh, licensed fabric that I sell also. And these are just like pre-cuts. So all that's available on my Etsy store. And up here, if you're wondering what this is, this is actually um, tissue paper. So I'll leave the link, I guess, in the video description if you guys want to check out the tissue paper store. Really, really good, high-quality tissue paper made, uh, you know, Unreal tissue paper, also like gold thread tissue paper, mango and banana leaf tissue paper for all of your crafting needs. You guys can, can check that out. I'll leave a link for you. And um, so then like here is a view of my back wall, which I guess you guys have seen in, you know, my other my other video, uh, if you watched it in my intro video. So this is what it looks like in my studio. Up here, I'll have like some flannels. Um, and then, you know, this is pretty much all quilting cottons. And here's a view of the window. I clearly can't afford curtains, so I'm using a bed sheet, but that's okay. Uh, and then I have, um, yeah, just some more stock. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. I have my, my Cricut mat and a painting that somebody gave my sewing machine, um, my desk workstation, and yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. And uh, I have that's my studio. So yeah, uh, I wanted to show you guys a little quick tour of the studio and uh, hopefully, you know, share a little bit about my small business with you. And I'll, I'll get into more of that stuff a little bit later uh, when we get into packaging orders and things like that. So right now, I'm just going to go set up the camera to show what the order picking process is like, what packaging is like. Um, I don't know how many of these videos I'm actually going to have on the channel because right now business has been kind of slow, but it is something that I wanted to show and hopefully you guys will enjoy the picking uh, of the orders and the packaging process. So let's see how we go. See you in a bit.